our next speaker, although I'm not sure that she's speaking, is Sukin Lee. Sukin was singing in the Vancouver underground. I was tempted to say underworld there for a minute when uh, a buddy of mine sent me her tape and I immediately hired her as a DJ on Much Music where for the next, uh, what, eight years, ten years? Seven years, she reigned supreme as Much Music's resident artiste and oddball. <laughs> Today she's the host of uh, CBC Radio's very excellent uh, Saturday practically all day program called DNTO, definitely not the opera. And uh, she still does edgy stuff on the side. In fact, she's involved in a movie with a uh, controversial, progressive, avant-garde young director, uh, John Cameron Mitchell, which promises, promises some very no-hold-barred exploration of sex, which of course got some of the bureaucrats at the CBC twisted up in a knot and there was a little controversy and uh, wow, in the course of a weekend, Su Kin was able to mobilize some of the most famous artistic names, wow, I mean, on the continent to support her drive for artistic freedom. That's her commitment and this is Su Kin Lee. Okay, so I'm going to put this thing together. Basically, I'm not sh quite sure how it's going to all end up, but I've always thought of myself as like a guinea pig in my own science project called My Life, and there's nothing more that I love to do than get a bunch of people together and, you know, in a room, different disciplines, and see what the heck happens, which seems to be the spirit of what Idea City is about. And, and, and since you're a captive audience inside here, it's gonna be good. So, um, one of the things that I always had a fantasy about was like, you know, you're in a nightclub and, you know, I, okay, backtrack. I think why I'm interested in this is is to try to make a connection with people. You know, we're walk, we're going through a day, and you know, we're encumbered by all the human frailties that we have, and sometimes it's hard to get your get up out of bed or even look somebody in the eye and. And it's, it's hard for me to do that. And, you know, I think through my work, what I really try to do is, like, make that connection. And that's what makes me very excited. And it gives me um, a feeling. And I like to feel that with other people. So, okay, back to my fantasy. You're in a nightclub. It's really dark out. Um, the, the, you know, it's really loud. The band's playing. And, um, you know, different things like that. Uh, my fantasy is boom. Music off, lights up, everybody naked, <laughs> except for black ankle socks. Not like, like, hubba hubba, let's get down, but like, hey, here we are. Boom. What would you do? This is yours. Hi. So, so first off, let's get naked. You ready? <laughs> I know it's early and we just put our clothes on, but, you know, since Moses was talking about, you know, this sexually ex There's two of us. <laughs> Me, I'm in Italian men's underwear and black ankle socks. <laughs> You're in Italian men's underwear too, awesome. <laughs> the rest of you, I can understand. I know, I know. I'm just, I know. <laughs> Yay! There he goes. Very good. Because, you know, I'm nervous too, but, you know, you got to break the nervousness somehow. Okay, but what I'm really here to talk about is I want to talk about, like, the dynamic possibility of the human voice. And also, I want to talk about improvisation. Um, improvisation is something that I apply to every discipline that I do in television and radio and making films and making music. 
And the power of improvisation is really fantastic because what it forces you to do and, um, is sort of try to find balance out of chaos. It, it, it forces you to react to changes. It forces you to make a decision. It really does force you to listen too. Like, because in musical improv, it doesn't work if there's just somebody wanking. You know, it's just like, oh, people are boring. But it works when people listen and give and take and listen and express. And, and so, so there's a, quite a lovely thing about improvisation. And, and I think some of the best sort of forms come out of a structure, out of like structure and improvisation it, together, which, which certainly the first two um, speakers today were, I was, I'm crying or right, right away, I'm crying. I'm sitting there crying, listening to this incredible story. But he's, you know, you have a, an arc, but you're riffing off the top of your head and you're going and it, it's compelling. And I'm, not, I'm gonna put my pants back on now. sit down and watch footage and edit and write notes and stuff like that and da 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 da. But with music, I find that I can just sort of find myself, find, find my, my, you know, my spirit inside there. So I'm gonna sing you a little song that always um, grounds me. And it's um, one of those things where I, when I, I've always loved to sing. And I probably started in the shower and you know, when I was a kid, me and my friend Julie, who I knew since we were zero, we would force all the kids to like watch us do these performances and stuff. And Julie and I would have this thing called the French showgirl routine. And neither one of us spoke French, but you know, we would start off at the slide, and I'd walk to the top of the slide and sort of go, Then I'd slide down the slide and say, take it away, Julie. By then, Julie would be at the top, and she'd be like, bon, bis, le pa. You know, and there's something really liberating about not having to like tie yourself to a word. You can just like create French. We're, we're talking French, and we get louder and louder throughout the day. It would be like, okay, and that, by the end, it was like, ah, la, la. My, you know, the neighbors would be phoning up my mom, get the girls to shut up. We're driving, they're driving me crazy. My mom would just like, let us sing. So it's one of those things. So I'm gonna sing you a song that, uh, Jean Yoon and Poi Ming and myself came up with. Um, it's called The Sleep Song, and, um, and I'm gonna, can you lower the lights a little, little bit? Thank you. And this is a song that I always sing to make me feel good.
I like making sounds. I like making sounds, you know, when our, just in talking, just talking, talk, talk, when we talk, those little, it's like, bum, bum, ba, uh, 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 when we could go, ah, oh, uh, that instead we go, bum, 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 bum. And I think sometimes, though, that sound sort of ends up sort of molting us into sort of, bum, 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 bum. well, I was so hot, how are you? I want to try some stuff with you because it's really fun to do too and I know that you have to feel it in your body and I know also that we're self-conscious right we're shy okay so let us try this okay yeah except you <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah you're like yeah I'm really shy <laughs> so what we'll do this let's try this okay I'm gonna do a sound. I would really love it if you just feel it in your body and do that sound that I do. So it's like, I'll do a sound and you, you can either copy me or do whatever the heck else you wanna do, okay? Okay, cool. Do you wanna stand up, sit down? People who wanna stand up so you get more air, feel free. Okay, sit, stand, whatever. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now, we need the house lights black. No house lights, not even on the stage, nothing. Gone, gone. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, what about the screen? Can we turn the screen off? Oh yeah, our pen lights. We are united by our Idea City pens. Oh, we are set. No, okay. <laughs> so, are you ready? Okay, let's try it. Okay, okay, you wanna do it again? Okay, let's try another one. Let's say. Save the people in the farthest corner of this place, and all I'm going to say is, hi. hi. Awesome. Okay, lights up. Very good. You're good. See, that's we should just live in a dark world. You know, people are like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to. Uh, okay, so what happened was. Um, I was walking along the street and I heard the most incredible, incredible sound. And I was like, what the heck? Because, you know, I, I like sounds and I like unconventional sounds. I'll show you this sound. This sound you can get at Canadian Tire <laughs> for, for about 15 cents a foot. I just call it the tube. It's used traditionally in plumbing, I believe.
how I found it was I was walking through Vancouver. Uh, I used to just walk all, all night long with my friends and we'd look around and feel like we were in a museum, you know, at three in the morning. Wow, look at that. And we come across this building. They're building a building and there's like a dome and there's all sort of like garbage and stuff underneath the dome because it was still being built. And then I saw this, this tube. And my first thing was like to go like this. So I very much like sounds. And I was walking down the street not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, and I heard the most amazing sounds. I was like, what the heck is that? That's a Martian music. I'm walking through the, I see, go see, I turn around and I see this fellow there playing some, some of this music. I was too shy to walk up and say hello, because I'm shy. I am, I, I, I know, I, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> anyway, so then I'm li I live in Kensington Market and I'm walking around, I see him. I'm saying, hey, you were playing some cool stuff. And that happened to be, we became friends. My, my friend Peter Venuto, um, I would like to introduce you to him. This is the first time Peter and I are performing in front of an audience because I just asked him like a week ago, hey, you're great, you play interesting stuff, will you join me on stage at Idea City? And he said, sure. <laughs> so he woke up this morning, I, I knocked at his door at 7.15. He got, just got out of bed, hi. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> and the most amazing thing about Peter's instrument is this chord here. And what happens is uh, he, he uh, it's, it's also a sort of random chaos machine. He cannot tell what the, he's, he's, he's wired it. He's wired it and done all these crazy things to, to modify the instrument. So he doesn't know what, he can't predict the sound coming out. Like, <laughs> what's going on? So he takes it even one step further, this idea of chaos and improvisation, because like, as soon as the, he has to work with the sound that comes out there right that, at that moment. So it's kind of phenomenal. So please welcome Peter Venuto. <laughs> OK, so Peter and I are going to do, we're going to try to do like a, gosh, a three minute improv, oh, uh, you know what, Peter, we, it looks like we got five minutes left here. So, I think we should just do a one minute improv. Okay, cool. Because I'm gonna get you folks up here. <laughs> just so we can psychologically prepare. <laughs> Go ahead, Peter. Okay, we're running really short for time. What I need is, I need four people upstage, no, four people on stage right now. Four people on stage, I need a basketball player as well. So five people. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Good, good, good. Very good. <laughs> okay, so we got, okay, let's see. We, okay, so, okay, yeah, you, you're the basketball player. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have high heels. Okay, you're, you're going to be right there. 
Now we got four people, excellent. Now the four people here are gonna be the sunglass posers. Heels do not make a difference, man. I'm sure you could just bounce the ball in heels. It's, it'll be totally cool. Oh, and then we need Moses. Where's Moses? Right here. Okay, Moses, I have this turn of the century book. It's called Ready Made Speeches. <laughs> and um, they're basically speeches you can make, you know, use on any occasion. Um, very many, and it's quite antiquated talking. And they have little blanks here. Um, and, and so that you can apply any name, but you can just say blank whenever you see a blank. Uh -huh. Okay. But it, but it needs a name, is that the idea? No, it doesn't need, you can just go your blank, blank interests, just so you don't have to actually. Okay. okay, so basically, okay, now. What's my motivation? Your motivation is, <laughs> what happens is, you know, you need structure to do an improvisation, right? But you also need freedom to like be able to play around. So, see these bottles here? Now, each of these bottles corresponds to one of your voices, all right? Now, Moses, this one is your bottle. Okay. When you see me take a chopstick and put, and when you ever see a stick inside your bottle, that means begin. Okay. When I remove that, that means stopping, okay? And so, basketball player, what's your name? Paula. Paula. Okay, blue, when you see that in there, that's, the, you just bounce. You don't have to bounce in time. Don't even worry about the heels. Bounce however. No, I was worried about the hoop. Oh, yeah, no, no. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I didn't bring a hoop. So but just, all you have to do. Okay, cool. So that's your one. You just remember this, this blue one. Okay, sunglass posers. You guys are, are the yellow. See, right? So when you do that, when you see it go in there, you put your sunglasses on and you strike a pose, right? And when I take it out, you take your glasses off. Okay, so, but. <laughs> nice. And you can keep posing like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very good. You, you got that, right? Okay, cool. And Peter, yours is the brown one. Okay. Now, you guys aren't gonna get off so easy either. When you see this going, on this half of the room, you can see that, sort of? I want you to make any kind of percussive noise with your body, with your chair, standing up, sitting down, whatever you want. You can hear each other. One person might go. Somebody else might jam along. Got it? But when you turn that off, stop. You folks over here? Can you see that? Can you see that? Good. I want to hear your voices together going ah. Ah. so basically sort of you know quiet and build quiet and build so you have to listen to each other to hear you out okay got it good stuff okay everybody ready I know I'm going terribly over time here, I'm sorry, this is... I think I got co-opted. <laughs> it's so tense when you walk out there, right? Eh? When Moses comes out, it's like, oh. Time's almost up, okay. No, this is good. Gentlemen, in consequence of having presided at similar meetings for many years, I've been called upon this morning to take the chair, but I wish some other gentleman had been selected. I, however, shall have the great pleasure of introducing you to my friend Su Kien Lee, 
whose interests uh, are thoroughly on... I have not seen such an address as Mr. Smith uh, from any candidate in this election, I mean kingdom. Although I have seen many of them, and if he keeps within the hour, four corners of the paper which I hold in my hand, he will be a man according to your hearts. We do not want trimmers, as they are called, neither do we... Gentlemen. Gentlemen, I never came forward with greater pride and pleasure than I do on this occasion. In proposing that, Mr. Smith, it is not necessary for me now to occupy your time in mentioning all the personal claims that my... my opponent has chosen. You all know that Mr. Smith is by that name. Is not unknown in this country, and for several months past, Mr. Smith has been doing all that one man can do in bringing openly and boldly before the electors himself and his opinion. He is the representative of the one true party who seeks to benefit 